So in order to do a drill routine with your plasma, okay, you need to have a file that has points set where you want to do your drilling. And it's best if those are the only points in the file. It makes it easier. So I've modified our little bracket we were working with so that it has points where the holes were. So I'll go import this drawing, this bracket one. And when I do this, I'm going to select use points for drilling. Make sure that's clicked right there. Okay. Now important to remember that the next time you go to bring a file in this will be checked you have to uncheck it otherwise she can may try to cut points that are in your file when you don't want them to so click OK brings the file in and it gives me little X's where the points are okay so now currently everything's on one layer so what I have to do is move the points that I want to drill or when I say drill I mean pierce uh, basically plasma is going to move to this point and pierce and then stop and then move to the next point and pierce and stop gives you a nice little pilot hole okay so what I have to do is have those contours these holes or these little points move to their own layer okay so if I click into edit contours uh, I can now draw a box around them it selects them, right click, move to layer, new layer, and I'll just call that layer drill. So now I can create a drill routine. So if I go to operation, drilling, I'm going to select the drill layer, and I basically select the plasma tool that I'm going to be using. So let's say this is at a quarter inch steel, 65 amps. This max min hole size doesn't apply. Basically, click OK. And so now I have a start point. One, two. Now if I want to cut the rest of the part out, I can go over here and create another operation. This time a plasma operation. And this time it's for the default layer everything looks right click OK and now we have our plasma cut now something to mention is this is going to do the operations in this order it will do the drill routine and then the outside offset routine and now if some reason I had these reversed I can simply click on the bottom one and drag it up and now they're flipped but definitely do the drill and then the plasma cut so you know as you can see this is going to be in a real nice way and this your drill routines they work pretty well particularly in aluminum um, you have to watch out in steel the edge of that hole you've pierced is now hardened so uh, usually it's not bad if you were piercing a small hole and say drilling out a larger hole and say you want to tap it or something like that that's a good way to do it like if you just cut the hole and then tried to tap say you cut a quarter inch hole and try to tap it that edge is going to be hardened and it's going to be very difficult to do um, and so this is going to be a way that you're going to pierce a hole drill it out so that there's no hardened material and then tap the hole so, so that's how you do a drill routine.